Africa stands as a continent rich in natural resources and home to a population brimming with innovation. Regrettably, the potential of its talented individuals often remains untapped, hindered by inadequate support from leadership. Nevertheless, a wave of individuals is emerging, bringing forth inventions and innovative ideas poised to catalyze transformative change across the continent. Unleashing the power of innovation and resilience, this is the remarkable story of 18-year-old Ernest Andrew, a school dropout from Malawi who has become a beacon of change in his community. Welcome to a tale of ingenuity, community empowerment, and the pursuit of sustainable solutions. Before we dive into this inspiring narrative, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and share to spread the word about stories that ignite hope and innovation. Your support makes a difference. In an extraordinary feat, Ernest Andrew has crafted a self-made air power generator, transcending the conventional barriers of fuel, oil, and batteries. Today, he has successfully connected nine homes in his village to free electricity, with even grander plans to illuminate the community school. Let's take a look at the video showcasing this remarkable invention. Inventor Ernest Andrew's innovation largely aims to save money villagers spend in buying torches and batteries to light their homes. After realizing that we were facing a lot of problems without using electricity, I thought of trying to make electricity. Now here we are. The 18-year-old secondary school dropout says his generator produces 1,000 volts of electricity. He has now connected nine houses from a self-made transformer. This system generates electricity using air. To make a light bulb illuminate, I use power stored in bottles. I experiment with magnetic power to determine how much electricity I can produce. After that, I generate power based on the number of houses I want to supply. But experts complain of Andrew's failure to articulate how he is using air to generate electricity. Or they say he might be purposely concealing it to prevent others from coping. What type of air is he using? We don't know. What air is doing to produce the power? We don't know. And he's not saying. How is he taking the air into his system to produce uh, electricity? We don't know. Katumba said if he proved real, Andrew's innovation would be rated among the most extraordinary in the world. The innovation has convinced skeptical neighbors. I was among those who were doubting his ability to generate electricity, which we can use in our homes. But when I saw that he had managed to connect his parents' house, that's when I asked him to connect my house too. Now life is simple. The villagers use the free electricity to charge phones and plug in electric shaving machines. Andrew's mother, Evelyn Chinguo, says he dropped out of school in 2018 because of lack of school fees. In the meantime, Andrew is working to connect the entire village and fulfill the government's request to illuminate the nearby public primary school. What Ernest did is not just about lights and houses, it's also about using clean and earth-friendly energy. His hard work shows how one person's smart idea can make a big change. This story is all about local people coming up with cool solutions. With effective leadership and proper support, the African continent has the potential to undergo significant positive changes in just a few years. It's essential that we rally behind and uplift individuals like Ernest, showing them the same encouragement and support we give to our athletes and entertainers. That's the end of this awesome story. Now it's your turn, share, like, and tell us what you think in the comments below. Your thoughts help us keep sharing these stories. Hit subscribe to join us in cheering for people like Ernest who make the world a better place. Thanks for being part of this journey. See you in the next video.